Defense News reported that the U.S. Army is expediting the timeline for its futuristic M1E3 Abrams main battle tank, aiming to bring it into service within two to two and a half years, well ahead of the original projection of over five years. This strategic pivot underscores a significant transformation in how the Army approaches the modernization of its armored forces, shaped largely by emerging battlefield threats and operational insights from ongoing global conflicts. The Army is officially moving away from the M1A2 SEPV-4 enhancement program in favor of the M1E3, a newly envisioned tank that prioritizes agility, advanced technology, and a smaller logistical burden. As announced in September 2023, this shift reflects an urgent need for vehicles that are not only powerful but also more flexible and efficient. Major General Glenn Dean, who oversees ground combat systems, emphasized that the Abrams platform had reached a point where further upgrades would only increase weight, something the Army can no longer afford. Modern threats demand embedded protections and smarter designs, Dean stated, pointing to the conflict in Ukraine as a clear case for internalizing defensive measures rather than retrofitting them. The forthcoming M1E3 will incorporate select advancements from the SEPV-4 model but will be fundamentally re-engineered with a fully digital backbone using a modular open systems architecture, MOSA. This approach will streamline future enhancements and reduce overall maintenance costs, keeping the tank agile and future-ready. To accelerate this initiative, the Army awarded a development contract to General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, in May 2024. This partnership will focus on key technological areas over the next 18 months, including a new hybrid electric propulsion system, a built-in autoloader for an unmanned turret, and a next-gen active protection suite capable of neutralizing threats like anti-tank missiles, drones, RPGs, and loitering munitions. This will mark the Army's first operational hybrid electric tank, with the new propulsion unit expected to improve fuel economy by up to 50% compared to current Abrams tanks. Additionally, the hybrid design is intended to minimize both heat and electronic signals, making the vehicle harder to detect in modern war zones saturated with surveillance drones and electronic warfare systems. A senior Army source noted that reducing fuel demands on the battlefield would not only lower supply chain vulnerabilities but also boost survivability by reducing exposure. Although the Army has yet to release specific details about the M1E3 specs, the vehicle is believed to draw from a 2019 Army Science Board report that outlined essential characteristics for a fifth-generation armored vehicle. That study called for a $2.9 billion program spanning seven years, proposing features such as an advanced hybrid engine, new autoloader and main gun systems, modular armor packages, AI-driven targeting and threat detection, and network integration with autonomous air and ground platforms. The vehicle will also likely include advanced stealth technology to evade enemy sensors and targeting systems. A preview of what the M1E3 could become was revealed through the Abrams X concept by GDLS in October 2022. The prototype demonstrated a 10-ton reduction in weight, an unmanned turret, reinforced armor for drone warfare, artificial intelligence systems for battlefield awareness, and seamless connectivity with robotic units. Though not the final version, Abrams X offers a critical glimpse into what the next era of tank warfare might look like. Development of the M1E3 is being aligned with the Army's XM-30 Infantry Combat Vehicle, formerly OMFV, with both systems targeting operational readiness by 2030. In the meantime, production of the M1A2 SEPV-3 will continue at a reduced pace to maintain armored strength during the transition phase. With this bold acceleration and commitment to next-gen features, the M1E3 Abrams is poised to redefine armored warfare. The vehicle promises enhanced mobility, lower operational costs, and a tactical edge built for the digital, drone-dominated battlefields of the future.